of course my internet's not working. That's so awesome. I love when that shit happens, you know that? That's amazing. Hey, it's Rabbit Chip 805 here. We're trying to get this a production of Real Talk Radio. It's Real Talk, hosted by Rabbit Chimp 805. It's the Saturday special. A two hour show discussing movies, videos, and television and fishing. It's R E E L. Real Talk, hosted by Rabbit Chip 805 on YouTube Defecate Primate. That's D F K 8 P R M 8. Hey everybody, this is Rabbit Chimp 805, still suffering with the flu and not enjoying every minute of it, but somebody has to have it, right? Although I heard on the news that over 2,900 Americans within the United States have died of the flu uh, since since the flu. You know, and, and the amazing thing I think about that is the very fact that uh, we were all given, a, not all of us, but, you know, depending on what your sh- insurance is, uh, we were all given shots. Most of us were given shots uh, that have the flu virus inside of it. And if your immune system is low, there's a good chance you're going to get the flu. My immune system is low because I, I got off of a surgery not that long ago. So, oh, did I start this thing or did it just start on its own? Okay. How do you start already? Okay. So, uh, yeah. anyway, um, you get injected with the flu shot, and if your body can uh, handle it, it'll suppress it, right? But some, most, not all, a lot of people's immune systems are compromised. And they get the flu from it. And when the doctors say, oh, you can't get the flu from it, don't worry about it. They're only speaking in jest because they know that most people's immune systems are so trashed by just everything, pollution and everything else that's crapped out on our planet, that most likely you're going to get the flu. So anyway, yeah, I got two flu shots this year because the stupid hospital that I went to for my surgery gave me a flu shot because they wouldn't operate me. And then a few months later, uh, I went to a doctor's appointment. And they said, well, you need the flu shot. And I said, I already got the flu shot four months ago. And they said, well, we don't have any proof of that. So they gave it to me again. Sure enough, I got sick. So anyway, um, this is episode three of Real Talk, R-E-E-L. Now, the reason why it's episode three is because it's a Saturday special. I don't always have them. You know, uh, I've missed a couple of Saturdays. So we had episode one, we had episode two, episode three, uh, whatever. This is episode three, and this is January 4th, 2020. And um, we're going to do this real talk, uh, which is, if you heard the intro, it's about movies, television, videos, Netflix, uh, Hulu, all that stuff. We don't get paid to say any of those names, and if they sue me, they can go back. fuck themselves. Me tell you. But, um... Oh, it is. Okay, so I can mute squad. Lamo, Mute squad. And it doesn't even matter, because we're in the audio party. So we don't have to talk yeah, to these people. The challenge. Um, so, anyway, we're playing Apex Legends on the PlayStation 4. Broadcasting through YouTube, Defecate Primate. And uh, I'm not a real big Apex Legends fan, but Radio Burst Gaming YT, Yellow Tornado, uh, plays Apex, and I said I would download it and play with him. So good. And oh you're, my God! You're so jump much leader. has changed. You're jump leader, so. Oh hell yeah! Um, <laughs> so much has changed. Holy shite! Yes, ma'am. I guess. I mean, I haven't played this in three years, so. I played it the other day to get back into it, but I haven't played it prior to that. I, I downloaded it, I think, when it first came out, and I didn't have any interest. Mm-hmm. But it is not... It's not Fortnite. I mean, it's the graphics are better than Fortnite. It's Titanfall. It's Titanfall graphics. So, there's a big, like... like You don't see the, the dog anymore, the big dinosaur dog that's supposed to be in Titanfall. You don't see that anymore. So... Oh, that dude bailed on us, bro, so screw him. Ooh. So, MT underscore Rue is here, and Radio vs. Gaming YT is here. And I'm and sure others will this. join us later on. As this Friday episode of Real Talk, R-E-E-L, uh, is going to be, you know, about movies and television stuff, and uh, it's, we're going to delve into the paranormal as well. What is this this thing here? 
no, no, you left the teammate. Take the teammate okay. banner for that. That's to revive people. Yep, there's gunfire already. Oh, our teammate's down. Fuck him. Uh, I need a gun. That would be nice. I got a Mozambique. And I will take that. Yeah, not that. Uh, it doesn't really work like it does in Titanfall. It's garbage in this game. No, I know. It's shit. Yeah, yeah it's totally shit. But it's the only thing I've found so far, so... Mozambique! Yeah. Yeah, that's that's a high loot tier. It's a high tier loot area. Here, here's you a backpack a for you. Mozambique. I got a backpack. Oh, you armor. do. All right. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a weapon or something. Do you, do you have a back? No, I don't think you did pick up a backpack. Oh, I found a purple backpack. I'll take that instead. Nice. Uh, what is that? That is a shotgun something. A little Chinese star. Yeah, you want to pick up that shotgun bolt. Sure, sure. Weapons, unfortunately. Uh, it's an arc star. Mm. Actually, whereas on this you don't have arc. Oh, no, you, uh, you, yeah, you have five stars and gravity stars and the title. Mm, we're not far away from the circle, which is good. Uh, it's definitely different than Titanfall. Oh, I just found a whole bunch of uh, compartments. Uh, we got a med kit, uh, a Phoenix kit, bro. Do you do you want but, do you yeah. want this peacekeeper or this flatline? Uh, here, I'll show you what. Friends, yes, he would. He only has one gun. I don't want it. I don't want an energy weapon. Um. So I'll take a shotgun or a hemlock. Flatline. Flatline. Is the flatline the energy weapon though? Nope. No, it's the uh, same as the hemlock. Is it really? Okay. Yeah. The ring isn't far. Okay. Peacekeeper's also a shotgun, you can trade that for the Mozambique. <clears throat> you know, how, is, I'll, I'll... how is the Peacekeeper compared yes. to the Mozambique, though? Uh, the Mozambique is a lot worse. Peacekeeper's I'll, a lot I'll better. Grab the, I'll grab the Peacekeeper then. Ooh, it's got sassy little 80s rainbow colors and stuff. What is this thing here? Ooh, yeah. nice. Barrel stabilizer? No, I guess I didn't need that. Thermite grenade. How do you load grenades up? Uh, 30 seconds left. You left, uh, or right D-pad, right D-pad. I see. Yes, yeah, so then. Okay. Love it. Swap holding is... There's a lot cool. of stuff that I've been missing out on. Um, yeah, I mean, at least you don't have to build in this game close. as well. Which is pretty cool. Right. Alright, this, the ring's gonna close. Alright, I got a, uh, there's a, uh, oh, wrong button. I keep thinking here. I'm pressing, uh, Fortnite, but... I'm... I'll get the uh... G7 scout. It's the G7 scout, oh especially the G2. There we go. It's yeah, very it's difficult very to shoot, though. I mean, it's accurate, highly accurate, but it's oh, very yeah. hard to shoot. Oh yeah. Uh, I don't know how to use the knockdown shield, but I heard some knockdown shield shooting. Uh, do we want to go into the circle, bro? Uh, I went down. Oh, you already went down. Oh, okay. No, I'm, got... not, I'm not at the circle, but I went down, like, the, the hole. Oh, I, I I went into... I'm going down there looking for peoples. Incoming care package. Uh, I see a uh, a thing to explore over Might here. Something good this way. Not over there. Uh, that's the wrong, wrong place. Right here. Supply bin here. Yep, there we go. Uh, there's a hemlock right here. Hemlock here. In fact, I'm gonna trade. I'm gonna grab the hemlock. Body shield here. Level one. Uh, how do you open your inventory? There it is. Uh, pause I, got, I it. got it. Uh, drop, 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 drop. You're not looking. Uh, the fucking device. Devotion's like the only energy weapon I like on that game. Uh, here is a another havoc. Watch out for the new kill Seems like Dolphin. that's the wrong hand, but... Oh, I got the hemlock, not the havoc. I grabbed the wrong fucking ammo. Oh, I don't like the havoc. Um, uh, this ammo, let me get rid of that. Let me drop uh, it. Okay. 
bitch with this fucking devotion. Uh, okay, we're in the circle here, so we're good now. 11, 11 squads left, 27 peoples. Uh, you want to go over here? Let's go this way. Tell you how many squads are left. Yeah, sure. Alright. If I can, if I could hear that, that would be good, because this is a good game to sound horde. For the right. fact oh, that... Right. Wow. Wow, sound horde. Really? I am a sound whore, really? thank you. Really? So anyway, we're, we're wow. playing A-Pad. Yeah. You haven't got good uh, yet. If you have a question or comment or suggestion, you're more than welcome to... Uh, there you go, get the body shield. Two. I already have it. Oh, oh, okay, I just got rid of that one. That's, that. That's another shiny star. Uh, here's ammo over here. Shotgun ammo. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, I hear, I hear. Oops, shit. People coming in. Looks like they're coming up behind us. Yep, inside. Enemy taken down. I got one down. Where'd he go? I knocked him down, but where'd he go? He disappeared. He just... Alright, good job. An enemy. He's by himself. Somebody else. I'm down, bro. Get him. Oh my god, Fuck. wow! Good fight. Good fight. That, ah. was, that was super gay, man. Super gay uh, there. He, he had a, a really good gun. Well, a really good gun. But you gotta kill. Hey, that's good. That's really I, good. I average I didn't five kills kill. usually a game, so it's no big deal. New Twitch offer. I really don't care. I'm ready to go again. So, <clears> anyway, um, I had a really weird dream. And this stream is sort of going to kind of lead us into some of the movies that I, I chose that I don't know if you've watched or or maybe you've watched and maybe you want to go back because I got a pretty good list that I set up here. But I had this. I finally had this. So my mother passed away January 25th, 2017. And I know in, in the past, our past porn, pa paranormal shows, Ronnie thought I was about to say porn shows. I wasn't going to say porn, Ronnie. <clears throat> okay. okay, I believe you. I may have said porn, but it's <clears throat> uh -huh. in our past paranormal shows. I've often talked about my mother and my sister as being, in, you know, related to paranormals and like psychics and things like that. And I've always talked to my mom that if you ever pass away, will you ever visit me? Will you ever, you know, be a part of my life after life or whatever? And it's never happened. Well, I finally had a dream that she was in. But it was a real strange dream. It was a dream that I was seven years old and we were in our this old house. And I walked, I was walking cautiously upstairs into my parents' house. And um, in my parents' bedroom and my mom and my dad were laying in the bed and they're on their backs facing upwards. And I noticed there was a bunch of pills all over the bed. This is your champion. Like someone was getting ready to commit suicide type of pills. I mean, like there were pills all over the bed. And I looked at my mom, and she was talking, but I couldn't understand what she was saying. Oh then, my god. I woke up. Oh, we gotta follow this guy? Okay, well, whatever. We'll follow, what, wait, did you just leave me? I'm, uh, I'm just going down. Alright. This guy has already killed us. Of course. Like I thought. Uh, he took all. He just took everything in the room. So I've got nothing. I don't have a weapon. He just grabbed both all all three weapons in there. He just grabbed. I have absolutely nothing. It's okay. Nothing. I am hiding. Okay. And there's people in this building. Oh God. Yeah. There's people. I'm leaving. I've got no weapons. Nothing. I'm running. I'm probably gonna die. So I'm leaving this guy. I'm abandoning him. And he's about to die. And he's dead. And that's what he gets. For grabbing all the weapons and being a greedy little fuck. Uh, I've got a R310. R301. And I'm not coming after him because I don't give a crap. I'm heading over to where you're at. Anyways, oh god. I'm, I'm dead. Okay, I'm coming over there. <coughs> I'm coming over there to die as well. Shooting at me. 
Nice, nice. Oh, I'm down. And that was the end of that. All right, back to the lobby. This is Apex. This is constant. This is just constant greed this is... and no oh, teamwork. This guy That's is so what this pissed. game is. This guy is so pissed. I can suck oh, a dick. Uh, Warning. Get, Our get broadcasters it. have potty mouths, and we will swear. This are video games that we ha we're playing. Get the so fuck off, happens. kid. What is he sending you invite? Huh? Oh no, an angry message. You already got an angry message? Yeah, he's like, well, why'd you guys fucking leave me? Well, you're a jackass and you stole everything, and of course, <laughs> you took all the guns out of there and didn't even let me get a gun, bro. How am I going to defend you and protect you with nothing, you jackass? <laughs> Tell him to go eat a lemon and stick it up his butt. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk talk today about some ghost movies. I made a list of ghost movies, and I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go over them slowly. And if you've seen them, nod your head. You know, I'm sure you have. Most of these movies, I'm sure you've all had. Some of you that maybe, you know not old enough to have seen them but you probably have seen them in reruns or you know whatever but the first movie I'm going to bring up is from 1990 Patrick Swayze Demi Moore Whoopi Goldberg and Ghost probably one of the most seen movies like every time it comes on I don't care what's on TV I flip it over and I watch Patrick Swayze behind Demi Moore as they're making that pot that ceramic pot and listening to, whoa, oh, my darling, my, whatever. You know, they're listening to that song. And, and boy, that is a sexy scene, right? Swayze's got his shirt off. Demi's just wearing his shirt. He's wearing his shirt. Because obviously they just had sex, so now they're making a ceramic pot. Who doesn't do that after sex, right? They always make ceramic pots, right? So, Ghost, that movie came out in 1990. Uh, it's about uh, a couple that go out on a date, date night, and uh, 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 the man gets robbed at gunpoint and shot. He doesn't know he's dead, but he sees him. He sees his body, and he, he now starts to progress in a, in a life of: uh, Am I dead or am I alive? And how do I contact my my uh, uh, my? I don't believe they were married. Did they ever get married? I think they were supposed to get married. And um, what is the we word? We should have a really good player with us. Okay. Sorry to cut you off. What is the word that I'm thinking of when you find okay. the love of your life and it's you know it's set in stone and this is the person you're going to be with forever? Love at first sight. Well, yeah, but I understand that. But I mean, what is? Beyonce. No, I thought you said Beyonce for a moment there, but no, no, um, no. Uh, when you when you found the love of your life and it's the what, your soulmate, your soulmate, yes. Uh, this is a soulmate situation where, um, where you know they were so basically soulmates. Uh, by the way, I have a grenade and here's a gun. Okay, I got a gun. It's a shotgun. I'll take it. What is that? I'll take heavy rounds in case I find a hemlock. All right, so I got a shotgun so far, and I, there is a so havoc. Bad. Don't want a havoc, but if I can only take a havoc, in. I'll take the stupid cat, the stupid Attention. havoc. There is a new Attention, there is a new Watch pubic the hair new in my butthole, leader, friend. and it's not mine. That sounds fun. A new pubic hair in your oh, butthole. Oh, so anyway, uh, Ronnie, I'm sure you've seen the movie Ghost, right? Absolutely. Oh my God, who hasn't seen it? Um, Rue, yeah. have you seen Ghost with Patrick Swayze? Uh, nope. Nope, never seen that movie. Okay, and uh, Radio, have you seen the movie Ghost? No. Okay, wow, you guys are missing. Oh God, you guys just stole everything in these containers, huh? Jesus. I literally oh. just started looting. Body shield here. Level this one. guy literally just took everything out of every single box. Level two. But whatever. Um, yeah, we're like super far from this circle. Like, really super far. Like, farther than we were in Fortnite. Super far. Radio is in fighting. Stabilizer here. Radio, no, who are you fighting? I... No one. I called that. I called dibs. Which means that you're not able to get it. 
Fuck you! Extend out of stock here. Charge rifle Extended here. Extended heavy mag here. Charge rifle here. Forget that. Oh. Charge rifle here. That's 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 a good weapon. Charge, charge rifle. It is in Titanfall 2. Yeah, it's yeah, in Titanfall 2, it's great, but in this game it's so difficult to fire off. Yeah, and does it one shot people? It's not as useless. EV8, isn't that what I currently have now? Yeah, I already have an EV8. R301! Fuck yeah! <coughs> so, Ghost, amazing movie. Helmet here, level 1. Heavy ammo here, cancel that. Body shield here, level 1. Ooh, a prowler. Fucking time. Let's explore this fight. Fucking massive. I'm sorry, what are you yelling at? Oh, I'm playing live fun with bitches and fucking massive. Hey, what? I'm pilot Enemies, I'm pissed off at enemies. Alright, uh, guys, we got a, like, moving, super far away run. There's a jump tower here. Okay, good. We need to get to that jump tower. Because uh, we have to go super far. Are you running with us, uh, Radio? Yeah, I'll catch up. Okay. Hey, if we die in the storm there, I won't be able to come back. If blessed, I will find loot over there to benefit. These the Russian. Oh, trust me, I, I can, I can. He's he's not Russian. He's actually Native American. Or no, yeah, no, he's Native American. He sounds Russian. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he does sound Russian. I'm not gonna lie, he does sound Russian, but he's not. <coughs> well, already. Where's the circle? Oh my god, it's so fucking far away. Yeah. Oh my god, a lot of combat. I got people, I got people next to me. I'm coming, Rabbit. So you're not alone. This guy up on the on the bridge on top of here. No one was there for me. They're above us. I hear them above us. But I'm trying to get into the circle right now, so... Alright, I'm in the circle. I'm gonna sit over here and wait. Let's explore this way. Anyway, so Ghost was a, a movie that I enjoy every time it comes out. Uh, radio, run. Run, you're gonna be in the storm. Run! 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 Nice. Uh, I don't know where this guy is. Okay, he's in the sh- Alright, let's, uh... Mama knows where we gotta go. Oh my god, we gotta go super far again. There's another jump- a jump thing over here. Or wait, there's a, uh... Contact. Hold on. He's fighting, and he's dead. Yeah. Now we're gonna run over there and die, right? No. Well, I don't mind if we have Because he healed himself. Okay. It's another uh, wraith like me, so let's just keep going because he's up now. Okay. Oh, there's a box over here. Might be something good I don't this care. Way. You can you can loot oh, anything you want. I'm trying to get towards the circle, so. Ah oh, shit! Are you dead? Yeah. Yep. Up our friend's banner. We can bring him back. It's okay. I can get other. No, weapons. I'm going to the. I'm going to the beacon, bro. No, Go I know. Ahead. I said that's oh, okay. Oh, oh, oh! I see. Right. Oh, uh, let's figure out how I can get there, though. 
I don't see a ton. You'll of have them. to go around. Yeah. I'll have to go this way. Well, the closest oh, one yeah, is the at the fuel depot. Here. Luckily, it's not far. Uh, fucking head glitching piece of shit. Right in front of you. I just got three shot while I fucking spit fire. Change, 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 change. There you go. Okay, I'm dead. This is my favorite part. And we're turning back to lobby. Oh, well, that guy was dead on our team. I didn't even know he was dead. Neither did I. Oh well, bug it. Whatever. It said that he was up, but whatever. Yep. Exactly. If people want to go their own separate way, I don't care. Anyway, let's talk about a comedy film that um, is both... It's a comedy because it has a comedian in it, but it's a... It's a tearjerker as far as I'm concerned. I, I actually shed a tear in this movie. thought it was hysterical because it's Ricky Gervais... And if you're familiar with Ricky Gervais, which I would think that the MT underscore Rue would be, because the guy's a British comedian and actor. Any idea, MT underscore Rue? Nope. You don't know who Ricky Gervais is? No, I don't even know what You are a in bad English man. That's English what I said when he said he didn't know who uh, Monty Python was. You don't know who Monty Python is. No, well, Monty Python's a group of comedians. You're gonna get. You're gonna rent some of this stuff so you can get cultured. <laughs> you need to get cultured and watch your Monty Python. But Ricky Gervais, he's obviously been in lots of movies and has a lot of comedy acts. But he was in a movie yeah, in 2008. I could say that about fucking uh, many people too. What's that? I could say the same about you, Slot. Like how you don't know who Russell Howard is. He is one of the best comedians I know. And he's British, right? Well, you played his stuff for us, so now I know who he is. Right now. Yeah. So, Radio, you're jump, jump later again. Yeah, so yep, I know. In 2008, Ricky Gervais plays a dentist who goes in that. for a routine colonoscopy and dies on the operating table, but comes back to life oh, and has a unique gift. He's psychic. And he can talk to dead people. And uh, featured in the movie is Tia Leone, who plays his upstairs neighbor, and Greg Kinnear, who's the husband of Tia Leone. And Greg Kinnear gets killed when he steps in front of a car and gets killed by a car. Now, Greg Kinnear has been in all kinds of comedy movies as well. So he's a funny actor. So he brings the comedy to the, uh, the, the, the movie Ghost Town. And why it becomes poignant down the road is... Because Ricky Gervais is a recluse. He wants nothing to do with anything. And, um... Uh... Okay, I have a grenade, but no weapons. There we go. We're all fighting in here. Oh. I killed a guy. Take your hand off. Hey, there's people in the jacuzzi here. Are you guys still alive? I'm dead. You died? Can I get you? I'm I'm dead dead. I mean I can't come even come and get you? Well you you probably can, but I wouldn't suggest it. Why? Because I'm still on the ship, and there's a shit ton of people on the ship. Oh wait, you're still on the ship. Okay. And yeah, I'd go for it, I guess. Fuck it, I'm out. If you shoot that sh uh, ship that you were just by. You can get some extra I'm things. Dead. Oh, we're dead. dead. Yep. And the other guy's not coming, so I'm going to leave the game. <gasps> yeah, that's what I'm doing. Because the other guy completely went his own way. Yep, um, I see that. How do you leave the game? Why am I not seeing a way to leave? Uh. Open up menu leave oh, map. Uh, yeah. I, I left match. 
So anyway, Ghost Town, the funny movie that turns poignant as far as I'm concerned. Uh, it's basically, it mixes the ghost movie and the psychic in one. And because it's a comedy with Ricky Gervais, I think that was very entertaining. So it is like literally 100 degrees in my room. I'm going to vomit everywhere. So you're going to get to enjoy me vomiting. I hope you don't mind. So this uh, Apex Legend is, is becoming very not fun to play at the moment. But and that's Apex Legends for you. Well, that's fine. Well, that's all Battle Royale for me. Right. But, I mean, at least this is this is a little bit more realistic. It's just, the, the problem is, is teamwork is the biggest problem in Apex. It is very difficult to find a team that you can use teamwork with. Everyone seems to want to just completely go off on their own, get all the weapons they can, go and fight five people at one time because they think they're fucking ninja or whoever they think they are, Drake, right? They think Tifu. they're Drake. They think they can fucking rap and play Fortnite at the same time or Apex. Trust me, you're not Drake. Lay That's some mic. shade right there. Damn. Right? You are not Drake. King Kong's Dong. That's what this guy's name is. King Kong's Dong. I like it. King Kong Dong. Two, five, three. Right. Gibraltar. So, would that technically be a monkey name because King Kong is an ape? Yeah, well, see, and when I originally started the community, I uh, let King Kongs in, and then I realized that King Kong is no different than a Harambe or a Curious George. It's just a name. No, and King Kong is, is literally... I'm sorry, what? Curious George, that was my childhood right there. You need to turn up your mic, Rue. You sound like you're under a paper bag. Or underwater. Uh, like, here's George, and that was like my childhood. There we go. Right. Uh, yeah, now I can hear you. Uh, I King Kong, I used to, uh, I have a few King Kongs in there, but... That's because I put it next to my mouth. Oh. No, don't eat it, but just, uh, you know, keep it away from your Uranus again. But anyway, King Kong, no, unfortunately King Kong is... And the fact that he's got King Kong's dong... Meaning okay. he's just going for big dick, I guess. But uh, King Kong is a Dropping fictional it, character on. of a gorilla, right? A giant right. gorilla. If I was going to have King Kongs in there, I would have to have Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Curious George, Harambe, uh, things like that. And nah, I can't. It's got to be Harambe an ape Harambe is a real... And Harambe was real, though. Harambe was just a name, though. I can find a Harambe, Harambe that's not a gorilla. That. What's that? Harambe was the name of it. It was just name. a name. It's not an ape yes, or a monkey. Yes, what he's saying is, is the actual name Harambe is just a name. Oh, it's not an actual... I've it's never not... heard anyone named Harambe, though. Oh, I'm sure you can find an African named Harambe. All right, I've got a... Um, oh, uh, the RE-45, just the, you know, the, uh, the pistol, so... Uh, how far are we from that circle? Oh, we don't, we're not far. Okay, good. Uh, let's go explore around. Where is? <coughs> oh, excuse Where me. Where are you? Where are you, bro? Where did you jump? Holy shit! You're I so went far down away. a hole. You went down a hole. Down in a hole. Uh, I got my so shotgun. So far, nobody knows. Ooh, prowler. Uh, you know, I kind of like this 1945 though, but. I like this shotgun too, so I'm just gonna keep the shotgun and a shield. Um, shield is fine. Okay. Attention, there is a new kill leader. We got ourselves a new kill leader. You gotta check the start. Okay, I'm good. I don't need any more weapons or anything, so I'm ready to go to the circle. I'm gonna head over to where you're at. So if you're ready to go into the circle, I'll follow you. I got my I, I got a little am, 45 caliber uh, pistol. But I'm you fine. know what? Whatever. Um, I I'm not, but it's okay. Well, I mean, what do you need? I need a body shield. A body shield. Okay. Well, well I'm sure we'll find one as we're experimenting. I mean, as we're heading back towards the circle. Experimenting. Um, <laughs> as we're experimenting in uh yeah in in you know teenage sex. It's, it's, it's experimenting in teenage sex. There was a movie. <laughs> I'm trying to remember. There's been so many movies of teenagers experimenting with sex, but there was a movie that I grew up with. I can't remember the name of the movie, but the girl, I know that she's in high school, and she's supposed to write far. a paper.
for the high school and she she doesn't get through and and she decides that she's going to be a guy and go and see what guys go through and she goes to another school and she shaves her head and she's dating a college guy and uh uh, here, dude, there's a uh, Spitfire, a Devotion right here. You want a Devotion? Energy ammo here. Uh, I don't need a Devotion, oh, but Devotion oh, is a pretty good gun. Okay, there you go, and a grenade as well. And there's more boxes over... Oh, no, those are already ransacked. Yeah, I just opened them. Uh, oh, looks like we've... People have been... There's a, uh, here's a uh, Alternator here. Alternator here. I already got, uh, I'm, I'm good. Okay. An alternator really sucks, though. In this game, right. An alternator is good in Titanfall 2. Uh, and no, the alternators are, I actually quite like, I prefer the alternator in that than I do in Titanfall. <laughs> I'm now following this sucks. King Kong. There's a vest right here, bro. No, it usually Level sucks. Really. Uh, even Tifu doesn't like the fucking gun. What's and Tifu's fucking a god at this game. What's a Tifu? Uh, maybe, maybe Tifu not, is a, is, he just is a like that gun. streamer. He clearly just oh. doesn't like the gun then. See? G7's it's all about personal G7 preference. G7 here. I'm, I'm good with the gun. Body shield and a helmet over here. I like it and I'm good with it. Uh, I, like, I usually go for the alternate and the P20 uh, uh, 2016 is usually what I use. I didn't close the circle here. I'm with King Kong. I don't know where you're at, Radio. I'm right behind y'all. Okay. Y'all. Y'all. That's such an American thing to say, y'all. Yeah, what do you guys think about Australia burning to the ground? What? I didn't even know about that. Over a million acres have burned in Australia. And people off uh, Melbourne have been uh, rescued by uh, uh, battleships and stuff like that. I watched that on the news. Okay. Right, I'm going to get some high ground over here. I, I don't know. What's that thing he just marked? Uh, uh, it is select thing. fire for the Havoc and Prowler. I've got a, uh, I've got neither. So. Right. Looks like a care package over there. The slide in this one. Oh, we got combat in front of us. Where are you going? Fucking here. Energy ammo here. Are you gonna rush? Are you gonna, are you gonna try to go into the fight? Oh, okay. The chest piece up there. Havoc or Prowler. I don't have either one. Oh, God, it's so hot in my room. So, um. As far as other movies go, um. What is that? With the scope. Okay. Extended mag. I can't even pick up a scope. Have much time. What's that, bro? Uh, I'm running. It's actually a really good fucking time. Are you are you on Titanfall 2 right? I mean Titanfall 2 right now. I am on time. Wait, how are you playing games and downloading at the same time? I can't do that. Because it's going to take forever. At least you were saying it's going to take like 11 hours to download anyway, so... I'm on, I god damn it. Why doesn't it ever let me up on things? Pisses me off to no end. Where are you going, King Kong? Why are you... I like the dude's, uh, I like his, uh, his, uh, what do you call it? I his, had, uh, I Hawaiian accent. I had two times. Fucking ne right next to the last one. So we're talking about Ronin is the gun does no damage. Reloading. Give me my 
my shields to recharge. One minute before the ring closes. We have time. Saving. Uh, so got our buddy got Take shot up here in King Kong. So. I'm dead. You're dead? As in Titanfall 2 dead? Ron, are you yeah, done with, um, are you done playing, uh, uh, Conan Exiles? I think for a while. Yeah, I'm over it as well. Oh, I'm shot. Ooh, I lost my shield. Recharging shields. Hardy, hard, hard, hard. I am out of shield. Repair it. Rings close. I am taking fire, oh, friends. God damn it. Well, the guy's invisible, and invisible person shooting at me, and I'm just about dead. And I'm dead. I'm dead by an invisible person. I will stay here. Radio, you're gone, right? You're not playing in the game anymore. No, I'm still in. Okay, where, why, why, where are you? You're so far away. What are you doing? All right, we're both dead. See my strat. Uh, just come and revive. Forget about the people here. I'm behind the building. Here. Oh, never mind. <laughs> yeah, see, that's why. That's why I don't go after a ton of loot because there, what's the fucking point? You know. Yeah. What is the point? Oh God, I gotta get the old lady of this house to shut down the heat in my room. It is so brutal. Oh, it is so brutal here. I'll invite this stupid King Kong in here since no one seems to be wanting to join. Um, about 15 minutes, 18 minutes left of this broadcast here, and we've only talked about two movies. Is there any movies you guys want to talk about? TV, video? Paranormal! Or well, scary movie, per which is well, a scary comedy movie was of... hysterical, yeah. I mean, some yeah. of them were, not all of them. Some of them were, were shit, but, uh, but Paranormal Activity, oh, God, go, as far as it goes... The very first one and the third one, I liked There's... both those. But every other one was trash. It was garbage. It was right up there with them making more Blair Witch Project films. You know, <coughs> so that was that was not cool. I got another movie. Uh, back in 1982, I don't remember how old I was, but I was a young buck at that time. I seen a movie called The Entity, and I'll have to say, right up there next to. Um, right up there next to, um, oh my God, uh, <coughs> the exorcist, I would say the entity as far as ghost movies go about, uh, about, um, uh, what's the guy that moves things? The German guy that moves things, uh, poltergeist right up there with poltergeist activity. The entity was probably the most frightening movie I'd ever seen as far as ghost movies go. But I don't want to only talk about, like, scary ghost movies. I mean, there's plenty of ghost movies that are, like, frightening. It was uh, The Haunted House, which is a comedy about uh, the paranormal. It was called The Haunted House? <laughs> the Haunted House. And when did that come out? And it, it was uh, 2013, and it was uh, led by Marlon Webb. Marlon Webb. Uh, Marlon Webb, I think. Oh, Marlon Waynes. My bad. Oh, Marlon Waynes. Yeah, Marlon Waynes. We'll if you want to see a funny movie that's on Netflix die. right now, uh, watch Six uh, Sex Triplets with Martin Wayne. This Very funny. Fun. He did a, and he did a great job because there's been other movies where people have played multiple characters Trust and me. stuff like that and just destroyed no, the doing. film. But Marlon Waynes does a great job in Sex Triplets. It's on Netflix. Uh, I know it was the movie for December of the this month of December. Champion. I know that every time I open up Netflix, all I get hit with is The Witcher over and over again. So, but Marlon Wayans and uh, on Damon Wayans and the whole Wayans brothers, I think there's quite a few Wayans brothers. They make some great things. I mean, if you ever watched In Living Col Color in the, uh, in the 90s, 
when Jim Carrey, or it was actually the 80s into the 90s, Jim Carrey was one of the guys that he was Fire Marshal Bill in the TV series in Living Color. And that was all Damon Wayans, Marlon Wayans. It was all the Wayans brothers in there as well. So, yeah, I thought that was hysterical. as was uh, for that. Um, another great movie, a psychic-based movie in 1999, Kevin Bacon in Stir of Echoes. I read the book before I saw the movie, and Stir of Echoes was dope. Great. Uh, we got our guy took everything out of the box, didn't let me grab anything, and of course he's dead. Yeah, so. I split off as soon as I saw that we were dropping. Okay. Well. Oh, this guy's lagging so bad. I can't kill this guy. He is lagging so bad. This person is glitching so bad and lagging. All yeah, right. I put you Since you're like nowhere near tank. us, I'm gonna yeah. try to leave the game. I just got fucking killed by a spaceship by a ton. All right, um, I'll be back in the, uh, the lobby, bro. See, right. again, the, the main thing here about Apex, bro, is teamwork. If everyone yeah. splits off, there's no reason to play. And I don't know where you went, man. You were gone. So, he, this guy grabbed everything was killed instantly. I didn't have anything and was killed, so... Yeah. Anyway, let's see. Um... <laughs> If you uh, like really scary movies, I mean, movies that are just pungent and scary, Michael Hafstrom's 1408, uh, which is based off of the Hotel Room 1408, starring John Cusack and Samuel L. Jackson as the innkeeper. This was in 2007. This movie was visually stunningly frightening. It was... It was just frightening, is what it was. And we've lost the Rue. I repeat, the MT underscore Rue has left the party. Did he say where he was going? Or did he nope. Just... Nope. I wonder if he crashed. He just left. <laughs> um, I think he's rebooting. He's playing a game and downloading a game at the same time, and it's got to be causing him some lag. Did you guys see... Did you, Ronnie, did you see the movie 1408 with... Uh, nope. John Cusack? Oh, God, that was so frightening. It was one I wanted to watch, but no, I didn't get to. Oh, it gives me shivers thinking about it. You ever seen that one, Radio? What? Uh, what the is movie it? 1408. Oh, 1408, yeah. The, where he's where John Cusack writes about ghost haunted places, and he's got like a newspaper article. He writes about yep, haunted yep. places, yeah. And then he goes to this place that Samuel J Jackson sends him a message. We don't ever know if Samuel Jackson's actually alive or dead, but he goes to this hotel. That's uh, uh, this uh, similar to the hotel that The Shining was in, although The Shining was in the hotel in Colorado. This was in a city. This was in Chicago or New York. And he goes to this haunted hotel and stays in room 1408 and has, uh, I guess there had been so many murder suicides in this room that he gets to relive them all. And it's just, it's horrifically frightening. This just a whole storyline. It just, he's stuck in there, trapped in there for life. It's, it's so crazy. It's just, it's just trip. Are you still in that match? Wow. Yeah. Look at you. I'm By still yourself. alive. Enjoy. Finish the game and win it for us. Um, another comedy film about a psychic. It came out in 1996. This is Peter Jackson's The Frightener, The Frighteners, mm. and starred Michael Michael J. Fox. Where he, it, it doesn't, it, it says that he was in a major car accident. And his wife gets killed in the car accident. But we f later on find out that his wife is murdered uh, um, by an escaped psychopath who eventually dies and comes back to life through like a seance from his girlfriend. And Michael J. Fox goes around. And there's a ton of actors. There's too many uh, actors to list in there. So it's like I'm going to be sitting here on this title screen for quite some time. Uh, so let's see. I don't have this person. What do you want me to look at? Banners, trackers, um, season three wins, zero, because we don't play this game. Um, 
You want to try sending, uh, Ronnie, you want to try sending Rue an invite back to the party? Let's see if he's rebooting or whatever he's doing. I don't know. He's totally gone, so. Um, I like the Frighteners, and every time that movie comes on TV, I flip over to it and watch it. And I've probably watched it a hundred times. I think that movie is hysterical. And there's a, like I said, there's a ton of actors in that film there. Mm -hmm. uh, in 2001, this movie came out, The Others. And it was so well made. This one is stars Nicole Kidman. And this movie was so well made. It's based, we don't really know when it's based. We think, we assume it's around the 18, late 1800s into World War One. They never specify that it's World War Two or World War One, but the clothing makes me think it's World War One, because the vehicles they don't look like their 1940s vehicles; they look like their 1920s vehicles. So I'm thinking it's World War One, the Great War. Yeah, see that's where they mention certain things, the Great War, and the previous ghosts in there, they're from the 1800s. So, um, that's all about uh, Nicole Kidman, their their ghosts. But they don't they don't know that they're dead and real human, you know, real humans that aren't dead are in the house with them. And they're like, oh, my God, those people are ghosts. Right. They're the ghosts. And Radiohead mentioned uh, us, the movie Us, which I think came out. in what did we say it was 2017? I think the, um, yeah, the Jared, Jared Peel, I think Jer Jordan Peel, Jordan Peel made. And that's got a very similar, a similar plot line as the others. Where it's, I think that was, I never seen that film yet, but I'm sure I can probably catch it on HBO soon or, or, or maybe on Netflix when it comes out. Uh, cause I think, I don't believe it's hit, it's hit video. I think it was later than 2017, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm thinking it's more like 2018 or wasn't 2000. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that was a, that one had a pretty good plot line where they have literally clones of people, right? That was the movie where they had clones of people. And they're trying no. to be... That wasn't us? No. I thought that was the clones. Nope. People have to look that one up. Uh, it, was, it wasn't It was clones. It was like themselves, but like the complete opposite. So it was another dimension. Yes. Okay, Jordan Peele, us... Uh, let me see what it was said here. Um, us was 2019. So we were both wrong. Awesome. Yay. Jeez. Both both totally wrong. Uh, let me see what this one says here. Got a 6.9 out of 10 from IMDb. Uh, accompanied by her husband, son, and daughter, Adelaide Wilson returns to the beachfront home where she grew up as a child, haunted, haunted by a traumatic experience from the past. Adelaide grows increasingly concerned that something bad is going to happen. Her worst fears soon become a reality, when four masked strangers descend upon the house, forcing the Wilsons into a fight for survival. When the masks come off, the family is horrified to learn that each attacker takes the appearance of one of them. So, interesting. Oh, it says it's on HBO. Oh, okay. So I guess I could probably... I've got H HBO, so I'll be able to see that one. Um, Us is a 2019 American horror film written by written and directed by Jordan Peele, starring Lupita Nyong'o, Winston Duke, Shahadi Wright, Joseph Shahadi Wright Joseph, Evan Alex, Elizabeth Moss, and Tim Heidecker. The film follows Adelaide Wilson. Okay, we got a uh, doppelgangers. That's right, they're doppelgangers. So they're not clones, but they're doppelgangers. They come and yeah. try to take over. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that should. And then Jordan Peele made the other, the movie Get Out as well. And Get yes, Out was yes, Get Out was 2017. That's where we met. We met, we mixed it up. Get Out was 2017, and Us was 2019. And you know, of course, yep. we'll never be able to forget It. But see, the thing about It is, it's not a ghost movie, whereas It is more of an alien film. That's how I look at ghosts. Because I mean, I mean, well, it, yeah. But if you read, if you read the book instead of watch the movie, oh, of course, the book is totally different. Yeah, it's uh like a kid killer. Like he he kidnaps oh, 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 yeah. and then he murders them. Yeah, <clears throat> right. But but the actual it himself 
in the movie is an alien. Which is also in the book. He's also an alien because you have to remember, he gets killed by the turtle, and the turtle is the uh, the universe's leader alien thing, whatever. So, makes, yeah, uh, makes total, complete sense there, I suppose, in a It sort of world. I liked It. I liked the fact that the modern day It, not the It that was in um, uh, the 1990s. Well, they, it, you know, the movie It actually has been several times. Uh, um, there was it in 2017, 2014, uh, then of course 2019, and then the fact that they add the little the kids from Stranger Things into that movie and sort of made it comedic actually made the movie kind of cool. But the the it with um the guy from Rocky Horror Picture Show, uh, I gotta look that up. Rocky. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. When when yeah when Tim Curry played it, um. Tim Curry. So let me look up Tim Curry real quick. We'll switch Shit. off of that. Tim Curry. Tim Curry. Tim Curry is one of my favorite actors. I mean, I mean, yeah, right. Tim Curry has been in so many films, and a lot of people don't know that he shows up in a lot of cameos as well. Oh um, yeah. I mean, well known, most well known for Rocky Horror Picture Show, but the fact that he did it, I my stupid internet just stopped again. Come on. Trying to look it up here. Movies. He's an old dude. Movies. Would you just let me look up the fucking movies already? Uh, Rocky Horror Picture Show was in 1975. He played it in 1990. He's great and legend. Uh, he'll always be no, most well known for, I think, in the Rocky Horror Picture Show. By by all by all means. Of course, we were talking about scary movie. He was in scary movie too. But yeah, yeah. Uh, he is just he is just great. Tim Curry. Um. But yeah, I guess the Rue's not coming back. Guess not. Did you send him an invite into the audio party? Because if I have to do it, I have to leave the stream. To go get him out. And if I gotta do it, I'll maybe he do turned it. off his PlayStation. I guess so. If he's if he's doing that, well, this uh, uh part one. Yeah, he's not online. Uh, he's totally gone. Okay, so part one of real talk is almost over for this part, and we'll be switching games. Um, I do want to uninstall Apex and burn it from my desk, because I think it's an extremely toxic game. But then so is Fortnite. But I'll keep it on here because eventually I'll I'll get playing. Why don't you fucking kill yourself already so I can play another game? Fuck already. Been sitting here for a half hour, bro. Come on, man. I Fr did die. That's well, why I said fuck. Where are you then? I'm in the lobby now. Oh, I've, I've been sitting on ready. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid jackass. God damn, man. Hey, look at that. One Apex pack remaining. Uh, we'll probably run out of time, but that's fine. Um, and we'll probably go to our second one. I haven't decided what game I'm going to do because no one seems to be interested, but I sure as hell do not want to play any more Apex, I can tell you that. But part two, we'll decide in a moment after uh, we get through this. Um, if you're on the PlayStation 4 and you want to be a part of Real Talk Radio, comments, suggestions, or hate mail, you can visit our PlayStation 4 community, Real Talk Radio, owned by RabbitChimbato5, you can on, Gmail me, rabbitchimbato5 at gmail.com. YouTube, Defcate Primate, DFK8. Either looking up rabbitchimbato5 or, or looking up DFK8. And either way, you'll, you'll have it. But uh, we're going to be playing this little doohicker that. Introducing your champion. Introducing Shoot your ready. sphincter. Introducing your sphincter. Alright. So what? Are you the jump master? Good. We'll follow you this time. Thank God. Jesus H. Jesus of H. Alright. Right. This is not a religious. Don't get us oh, confused no, with me. Real Talk Radio, the ministries. I mean, as as we, we are far from the ministries. <laughs> We're as atheist, at least some of us are, as God knows. I don't know. I'm saying God knows, but whatever. But uh, no, we are not affiliated with the ministries of Real Talk Radio. This is strictly a totally different Real Talk Radio. I know there's a lot of them, but whatever. 
So anyway, uh, this is Rabbit Chimp 805. Uh, MT Rue cannot defend himself as he logged off, but we'll say thank you for MT underscore Rue for joining us for this hour, part one, episode three of R E E L Real Talk. Thank you, Ronnie the Monkey, for joining us. I'm sure you'll join us back for part two and Radioverse Gaming YT. Yes, sir. Sure join us as well for that um where am i i am on the ground i will stand here and let people shoot at me and i will play this if i can find it i will play it i know i had it here and let's see that's not it that's three weeks ago here it is right here all right stand by first blood first blood and it's not us wonderful radio Hosted by Rapid Chip 805. It's the Saturday I'm Special. Down. A two hour show discussing movies, videos, television, and fishing. It's R E E L. Real Talk. Hosted by Rapid Chip 805. On YouTube, Defecate Primate. That's D F K 8 P R M A. Alright, we'll catch you for part two in just a moment. Hasta luego. 